What's up guys, Aiden here, Aiden Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm here with Kyle Parks of Scarlet Oak Landscape, and this is his brand new rig. Look at this thing, man. Thanks, uh, so uh, Scarlet Oak Landscaping, we had a video, what? Three um, months ago ish. Now. Yeah, probably, yeah. It was just before winter started here in Maryland. Good old winter. Doesn't even seem like it was winter. that long ago, you know? I know. But no, um, started off with a Ram 2500 and we just recently purchased the SLT 3500 Cummins. Yeah, look at this thing. So, dump box and everything. The plan with this is to hopefully boost our mulch need. And we actually have a plow that goes on the front of it, uh, 9 foot western. So that. We can put a picture in the video. Yeah, yeah we got yeah. some pictures. Yep. So, but no, this has been the new purchase. Um, we only got a single cap for now because we're not trying, we don't need a crew and a half with us every day. But even at that, like Kyle said, you can fit like three, four people back behind the seat, you know, yeah, three, four in people there. in the toolbox. So it really is a six man crew, you know. Yeah, it's a hell of a rig, so. Uh, but no, we can, we can take 25,000 with it, 6,000 can go in the bed. So, I mean, it's, it's a freaking beast and a half and I've, I've been happy with it. So far, we've got it for what a month and a half now, almost. It's been that long already. It's coming up on a month. Wow, wow, that's crazy, man. Look at this thing. So it is the Mason body, and you did where these two by twelves you put up here. Tens. Oh, two by tens. All right. And so. then we have reinforced um, two by fours just going all the way down. You can see the inside. Look at that. Plenty of space. This is what you said. It's eleven foot long bed. Yeah, 11 foot. Nick wants to claim it's a nine footer, but now the, the boards are 10 foot long. And then we got another, what, foot-ish if you compare the front to back. Plenty of space in here. I mean, Nate, you name it, you can fit anything inside of this thing. And we got the dual tailgate, so pop the top. Folds down this way, and then you do the same thing on the bottom up in the front. Just pull this chain off, and then dump it up, and the latch will open up the back and then we can open up. So in order to dump it, do you have to undo these easy latches here or do you just pull that lever? You just pull that lever now and then this will open up the bottom or... Something like that, Something bro. Like yeah. that. I haven't really done it yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but that'll do that and then the easy latch will pop the top and it drops out like a regular tail. And also, from my understanding, you can do the spreader gate with this thing too. Yes. And, uh, yeah, that, that'll, be, that'll be sweet too because if you want to add stone to a driveway or really do whatever with it. You can uh, set it how you want it, yeah, tip the, the bed up. It'll be, what, two weeks from now or so, three weeks, go okay. over to a buddy of ours house and take care of that. And I think we have probably about 25 tons to put down, maybe, maybe a little bit so more. So what can you start with in here? You said six tons? Yeah, right. Well, Five, six yeah, tons? 6,000 pounds, so. Three that's tons. three tons. Three tons, okay, yeah. Divide. Yeah, Not right. <laughs> And then what is, what's this thing do? What so do this is actually that? for the tarp up front. I just have it clipped on here now because it was flailing around earlier, but you cl uh, clamp it to the front of the tarp and then you can pull the tarp back and you're sitting back here. You don't feel like waiting on it or having to hop into bed because you know, I'm short, so it's a massive huh. jump for me. <laughs> and I can't fit over the sides now because of the good old, uh, good old sides we put on it. Yeah, just imagine you were using that, those, um, I guess just when we did that cleanup, what was that? Not too long ago. Um, oh, we could have fit double. Triple and what was in we there. were using those uh, those bags to put all the debris in. Yeah. Imagine how quick it would have been to just throw it up in here, and like you could probably fit a ton of leaves. Or, you know, if they're dry, they're light, so you could fit a ton of leaves in here compared to what you were doing, and you could probably eliminate a lot of your dump trips. And you know. Well, what was funny is I actually today was helping my brother out. He works at a rage room, so you go over and smash stuff for, okay. and that's what he gets paid for. So we were actually over at a house uh, cleaning out some, what do you want to call it, dressers, bookshelves, yada, yada. We could fit it all into here. I thought we were going to make two, three loads, but honestly, it all fit in here, and I had no problem with it. That's crazy. What'd you do? Just run it over the county dump or something like that? Actually, no. We took it over to his, uh, his what, there's a little lot behind the range roof, so they take it, smash it, he gets paid for okay. being able to smash all that stuff. So. That's crazy, yeah. So this will be sweet. Uh, so what we have to do with leads? You'll just have to load them up and then pull the tarp over it all the time, or how do so, you think that'll work? I think right now the plan is, uh, Ben actually has an extra leaf loader that I'm gonna help her probably borrow for a little bit and then toss him some money for it, but we'll make a rig for the back of this, build it up another, um, with another two by 10, then we're gonna make a, um, arch rack type thing over the top 
I need paper to fully show it. <laughs> but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll do that and then we'll dump everything in the back of here and then I can pop the latches and when we get to a place, we can just dump it at the county dump or something like that. There you go, yeah, this is sweet. It looks real good now that he had the sides. The first time I saw it didn't have the sides and uh, it was a little naked. Yeah, for sure, now it looks looks real good. You still gonna be able to dump at the county landfill? Uh, the county's, yes. Um, you just pay, have to pay, right? Yeah, it's like $75 a ton for Anne Arundel. Uh, that's not gonna be too expensive for leaves, hopefully. No, but no, the cab is the cab is nice. I'm trying to keep it clean, I'm being a good boy. <laughs> of course, there's salt and everything in there, but. Here you go. There we go. Look at this thing. Brand new. I mean, look at the seats. There's not even a wrinkle in this seat. Looks great in here. Yeah, I mean, like, it's got the full, it's kind of hard, but it's not really focusing. Yeah, it's got like the full digital screen. You got the dumping right there. Four wheel drive and everything, you know? Yeah, Perfect amount of space for two guys. One thing I want to show really quick is back here I have uh, extra pair of clothes, jackets, everything, extra hat. That's the right hat, a western extra somewhere in there. Hats, yeah. um, first aid Snacks. kit, and then I have, well, I don't know where it went, but I got a fire extinguisher somewhere in there. A couple extra jackets, that book bag's got all the extra things that you need, and then some snacks that uh, Chloe was like, just leave them in there. Well, you know, it's good you have a fire extinguisher because you know Alex Mushal has no fire extinguishers at all. We start, accidentally had a fire at his shop when I was there over the weekend, which I'm sure by now you guys have seen that video. No <laughs> fire extinguishers. Running. No fire extinguishers at all. Didn't I told him, I said, go buy them. You need them in all the trucks, all the trailers because yeah. you never know. That's my second time doing that. <laughs> yeah, you it's, never know. It's weird. It's like a stiff door for some reason. I guess the cab pressure or something with the windows still up. Yeah, man. So, I mean, you never know when you're going to need one. So, yeah, I'm better to be, be safe than sorry. I'm a proponent of safety this year. So, we're doing flasher clips here on the front. We're doing L brackets on the back. So, they'll clip one here. They'll be above for when we're doing plowing because our plow mount sits up about that high. So, okay. There you especially go. Especially the lights and everything. And this is where the plow mounts right down here in these? Yeah. So, there's um, the plow a bracket right that there. comes out and then it sits on. Should be. Actually, there's a bar in the mount, sorry. But there's a bar in the mount and it just slides right on. Um, took me maybe 10 minutes to get off the first time, but okay. it's, a, it's a five minute procedure by yourself. There you go. Uh, I know a lot of people like to hear these uh, these come and start up. So you want yes. to- We're gonna Mitchell Gordy it. Yeah, I saw that video. <laughs> uh. Look at this thing, guys. Perfect. So we do got the moose mirrors, beavers and butt head up. <laughs> I, I honestly, I like running them like that. It makes it much easier to see around the full unit and you don't have to worry about having a blind spot or anything like that. So. That's awesome, man. Well, congratulations again. I know you're gonna really be able to take uh, your business to the next level with this thing, and uh, you won't have a problem towing whatever you want, you know. Yeah, that was a cool damn house. Yeah, right. <laughs> you won't have a problem moving whatever you want around, and uh, be really great, and uh, congrats again. And if you guys wanna follow him, where can they find you? Uh, Scarlet Landscape on Instagram, Scarlet Landscaping on Facebook. Check out our website, or if you've got any questions about anything, feel free to give us an email or anything, or and, uh, contact at startedlandscape.com. There you go, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions about the truck, leave them down below, and I can direct them to Kyle. With that, I'm Aiden from Maison Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.